Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. I uh, wanted to shoot a, just a quick video highlighting a new comic book series um, that's coming out in October that I think looks really, really good. Uh, so this will be a fast video, um, just something that caught my interest. I was kind of breezing through the CBR site and this popped up and man, this looks really, really good. So DC's Black Label has a new series coming out called The Last God and it's a fantasy series. The writer is Philip Kennedy Johnson, and the artist is Ricardo Federici. Uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson, I read his bio here. Um, he's done some independent titles, Warlords of Appalachia, Last Sons of America, Smoketown, which I, I read that. Uh, and then he's done just a couple things for DC, Aquaman Annual Number 1 uh, just recently. So pretty new writer, really, on the scene. And... Um, you know, I, I, th I think he could be really good. And obviously the art's going to be fantastic when you've got Riccardo Federici, Italian, um, sketch artist and painter. And, you know, here, that's the Immortal Hulk 19 cover, which I've ha I've highlighted on my videos. Uh, Batman Who Laughs. I mean, he's done some really great work. He's, you know, a DC cover there for Aquaman 41. Really nice. The Witching Hour. He did those, um, that that main cover. So his artwork is fantastic, Federici. I mean, he's another one of these Italian painters and artists that just does stunning work. Um, so I think this is going to be a really good series. You've got, obviously, the unbelievable artwork, and you've got a writer that um, could be the next breakout writer. So the premise it says here is, this is a terrifying horror story told in a stunning epic fantasy world set in two different generations. It follows a mighty fellowship of heroes that travels beyond the borders of creation to kill a god, and the next generation who learned their predecessors aren't the heroes the world believes them to be. So yeah, I mean, this just looks really good. Um, Federici even said, when I was asked to draw the series, I was so excited, both because I love the fantasy genre, especially when they, they are there are horror connotations, but also because it was an opportunity to graphically create a new world. All right, I mean, this, I think this is gonna be very good. Um, I'm definitely gonna be picking this up. I mean, just look at that cover artwork there. My goodness, unbelievable. Um, so if you're definitely into fantasy style writing um, with unbelievable artwork, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a book you want to pick up. I mean, look at the interior artwork. This is another thing, too. Um, a lot of times, great art, art artists like Alex Ross, Matina, you know, they don't do a lot of interior artwork. Um, it's few and far between when they do it. Alex Ross, early in his career, did a lot of interior artwork. But these days, you know, he only does cover work. And I don't blame him. These guys make a lot of money just drawing covers. They don't really need to focus on doing storyboards and, and interior artwork at all. But, um, man, this this artwork is unbelievable. So I am definitely very interested in this series. Um, DC Black Label, I mean, they, they're pumping out some good stuff. Batman Dan was awesome. The artwork in there was amazing. This just looks like another series that I think is going to do very, very well. Um... So looks like it goes out October 30th. So this will be your October orders. Make sure you pre-order it. That's what I'm going to do. You get a little cheaper when you pre-order. Um, I definitely think this will be something that um, will do very, very well. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to highlight that. I thought that was um, worthy of a video all by itself. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't already... Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, share my videos if you wouldn't mind trying to grow my subscriber base, and please leave me a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. Do you think it looks cool? Uh, is this something that you're going to pass on? Um, yeah, I'd just like to get your opinion. All right, guys, I will probably shoot another video on Wednesday. If not before, I'll see you then.